Popoff here, back again with another edition of Reliving Old Reviews as a useless tool of confusion. This is the show where we, it's just short snappers. We just look at an old review and see if the reviewer got it right of a historic artist reviewing at the time super old album and uh i want to thank the great chris jackson for sending uh sending this one in um he sent a few in actually um so it's really helping out so thank you chris um we are going to look at a uh a review from the enemy uh new musical express june 20th 1970 of Jimi hendrix band of gypsies album let's see what uh what they have to say here about it uh, who is this review by? Do we get to see the name? Oh, R RC. I'm not sure who RC is. It's just initials. Um, but yes, so here we go. Jimi Hendrix is one of the very few true originals in music. He is a power unto himself and perhaps the only person to whom the true meaning of the terminology heavy can be applied to. So we're in 1970 now. We're halfway through 1970. We know that there's been some really great upstarts in Black Sabbath, Uriah Heep, um, Jimi Hendrix at this point, And this album is not going to be something that's kind of pushing him forward. And we know this does not end well uh, later, but it's it's kind of a casual album, kind of a funky album. Um, but, you know, realizing it's, it's sinking in, at least uh, here in the middle of 1970, how heavy uh, and how important Jimi Hendrix is. Uh, I'm, I'm sure, I mean, this has been known for a while, but I think he's kind of overstating it, uh, saying uh, is the only person to whom the true meaning of the terminology heavy can be applied to. Anyways, let's see. Uh, Through a legion of guitarists, uh, though a legion of guitarists have extended the basic style popularized by Clapton and Beck, few, if any, have assimilated the Hendrix technique with any proven success. All his copyists have been just that, copyists. I don't think there's been that many copyists by this point. I mean, famously over time, I think the biggest copyists that we're going to get um, or people who really celebrate the spirit of Jimi Hendrix are Robin Trower and Frank Marino. Um, you know, but by the, by this point, I don't think there's particularly copies. I think there's a new breed. There's there is your Tony Iommi's and your your Richie Blackmore's and your Mick Boxes coming up, right? Um, and Leslie West. Um, this is his first album in well over a year. Uh, is also his first as a leader without Mitch and Noel, and his first live one taped last New Year's Eve at the Fillmore East. He is supported by his old friend Billy Cox on bass and everyone's super sessioner drummer B Buddy Miles. Jimmy has made it known that he has certain re reservations about this one shot album it may not be as together as those he cut with the experience so what it's still light years ahead of most of his contemporaries i don't think it's light years ahead of most of his contemporaries i think his contemporaries now have moved on and and started really pushing this uh, this kind of music forward so i think it's, it's kind of a step back for him and it is live and casual at least jimmy you know recognizes that it that it wasn't that great and i, and I like i like the use of the word together right it's uh, it sounds like a good good hippieish uh, word from back then uh then he says the hendrix voice and guitar are an extension of each other that's really cool i like that uh cuz that's true uh sometimes you can't tell where one leaves off and the other begins uh, a lot of these great guys are like this. And we know Jimmy's always been like this, you know, singing along with the licks and stuff like that. It, so I, that's a, that's an amazing point. And that was such a cool thing about Jimmy is, is that he's, his singing is just so underrated, right? His phrasing, um, his tonality, everything. And, and the way it, it does sound like it's, it's done, uh, in unison. Uh, you know, I, I think, I think, uh, People, D Doug Pinnock really reminds me of that as well. Uh, Phil Inet too. I mean, we're talking bass here, right? So it's singing along with bass kind of thing. But yeah, think about a bunch of these guys. Who else would be like this? Um, I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, but yeah, with Jimmy, it's actually really cool uh, that it uh, that it works that way. Um, Neither Jimmy's or Buddy Miles' compositions can really be called songs. They are more rhythm patterns than anything else, but it doesn't really matter. It's the overall conception that counts. Though at times there are lapses in recording quality and musical unity, these discrepancies can be overlooked for they don't distract. Anything that Hendrix puts his name on to the utmost importance is of the utmost importance, and therefore it goes without saying that the band of gypsies have made a very valid statement. Yeah, I guess... You know, over time, we've, I think, realized it's not that valid a statement. I mean, I, I think the the experience albums are better, but, but we didn't get much from uh, from Jimmy, obviously, before he died. Uh, but pretty cool. And at the end, he puts title. Oh, just the titles. It's not recommending any special special ones. So uh, so RC's review. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good on on the spot. And uh, 
you know, and you can tell that there's a there's a total understanding and a knowledge of how uh, how big a deal, of course, Jimmy uh, Jimmy is at this point, right? So there you go. That's another edition of Reliving Old Reviews as a useless tool of confusion.